Uh, we launched I Like a Boy uh, about 48 hours ago. It's a collaborative uh, project between BarelyPolitical.com and the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, IAVA. So we've teamed up for this song that's written by Leah Kaufman, performed by Obama Girl, features Giuliani Girl, uh, the Romney triplets, all the characters from the Barely Political videos, and it's a great way for us to say thank you to all the men and women serving overseas. It's a, it's a fun song. Uh, it's definitely a poppy, kind of cheesy song, but everybody all over the country has already responded really well to it. It's got over a million hits online. It's featured on, uh, on YouTube's homepage, on MySpace.com's homepage, uh, and it's really been viral. So it's a great way for us to kind of reach out to folks online and, and honestly to break through the media clutter where we're trying to battle with stuff like OJ and Paris Hilton uh, to talk about veterans issues like post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. So it's, it's a little bit uh, new for us, but it's a great way to utilize new media to try to push our agenda for veterans. Is there any reason that it was sort of apolitical? In the, I mean, yeah, I mean, absolutely. It was deliberate because the way we look at it, it doesn't matter what political candidate you're supporting. If you're pro-war, anti-war, we all have an obligation to take care of the people who serve. So we brought together Obama Girl and Giuliani Girl on purpose to show that you know if we can get together as Americans, the political candidates should be able to do the same thing. Uh, and also, we're a nonpartisan organization. Our membership split between uh, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents. So we want to make sure we have a little something for everybody. Okay, so where could people go if they want to donate or if they want to? They can go to iava.org for Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. We're a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. Your, deduction, your, uh, your contributions are tax deductible. Uh, and you can find out more information about our other issues as well. How do you feel about this video in relation to the other ones? I mean, yeah. The other ones were really fun to work on and I had a great time. This one actually hits a little bit closer to home because my um, father was in the military for 23 years. So I've been around the Army and around all this all my life. I'm an Army brat, I guess yeah. you'd say. So um, doing this really made me feel good about myself and about being able to help support the troops. And I just did it because I want, you know, I hope that it puts a smile on their faces. And I love how everyone just got involved in this project. This song is different than all of our other songs in the sense that um, it's political, but it's a little more serious. When you're writing a song, like, what, how does it start? I mean, like, do you think you have a topic you want to do and you just kind of go with it? Yeah, um, well, Ben Rellis and I, we kind of, um, like, conference about what we want to do, and I write a first draft, I send it to him, he sends it back, and make amendments, it goes back and forth like that for a while. Well, the reason I was so excited about the project is I talked to Paul Reichoff, who runs the IBA for a while, and... Did he, did he approach you after seeing the other yeah, one? Yeah, he actually sent me an email probably within a week of the crush on Obama video. I mean, you know, sometime in like mid June. And at the time, he just said, you know, it might be fun to do something together. Let's talk. And I didn't get back in touch with him until a couple weeks later. We were going back and forth. And the thing I really loved about the organization was it really wasn't about obviously anti-war or that you know supporting the war it was really about supporting the veterans and the issues involved there. So I love the idea of trying to put together some video. And then things really fell into place when one Amber, who obviously plays Obama girl, was really excited about the idea. Her dad is, you know, was in the military. Terry. Leah was really into the idea and I think to a degree the crush on Obama video was really fun being part of the political dialogue but we felt like with this video potentially we could raise awareness for a really important cause. Yeah. And so I, like is this making money also or is this more about yeah, just Yeah I mean this one the IAVA video we have the song for sale on iTunes so all that money goes to the IAVA and then you know having this party tonight which is raising a little bit of money and yeah, I wouldn't say that you know the idea was to raise a massive amount of money. I think it was more about figuring out a way kind of to call attention to war veterans. But also with this video, we really wanted to do something about the wives and girlfriends of people who were serving in Iraq and Afghanistan because obviously they're serving the country in their own way also. So that's where we came up with this idea of including them in the video. And I would say the video is more about raising awareness about the soldiers overseas and the wives and girlfriends and husbands and boyfriends at home than it was about trying to raise a massive amount of money. Do you have uh, more in the works already? I mean, yeah, already? you know, with this project we have a lot in the works. So we have somewhere on the website where people can basically upload their own message to the troops if they know somebody's serving. So the next version of this video is going to be the song remix, and it's also going to be nothing but people who, you know, know or love somebody overseas. So that's one part of this project. And then we also have, um, regarding this project, something on the IABA website where people can kind of go on and send a message, just type something to the troops. And then, in terms of other stuff, we're probably going to get back to more political satire. We're doing stuff, you know, that's coming out next week, which is sort of more back to being humorous, I hope, than, you know, kind of 
supporting a cause. So you have another one coming out next week? Yeah, yeah, we have a bunch of videos coming out next week. Yeah. With the same cast? or? Yeah, we're trying to keep the same cast and crew. We're going to be kind of introducing new people, but that was the goal, to kind of keep people involved in the website. Kevin and Larry, Kevin Arboy and Larry Strong direct the videos. Leah sings the songs. You know, Amber kind of plays Obama Girl. We have Jen Tamellis who does kind of field reports. We have a couple of bloggers. So the goal is to really develop the site into something that's original content that we produce, things that we aggregate from all over the web, and then also, ideally, we're getting submissions from people who go to the website. And how long does it take you to produce one of these? Each time it takes a little longer. The Crush on Obama video we shot in six hours and then, you know, edited in a weekend. So that one was really quick. The Obama girl versus Giuliani girl is probably, you know, a little longer process. It took two days of shooting, a little bit longer to edit. And then this uh, IVA project, we shot um, at a paintball field, probably shot for about six hours, but then it took a lot of time to you know, get all the additional footage from the army wives and army girlfriends. 